Hi there, so today we're going to be looking at how to create a canvas with Prism's UI Blur feature applied to some of the canvas elements. So we're going to go ahead here and create two images on this canvas. And then let's just make sure that uh, they're showing on the screen. There we go. Okay, just like that. So at the moment they're just using the default shader. And what we're going to do is we're going to make this image use Prism's UI material shader. I've just imported Prism here and uh, this can be found in Prism demo materials. Also you can make your own material you literally just need to put the Prism UI blur shader on it. Okay and there we go I've just dragged that onto our UI material and as we can see uh, that is applying a nice Gaussian blur to everything behind it. Nice and simple. Uh, now what we're going to do is go into our main camera which has prism on it and uh, if for example you want to save a little bit of performance uh, we can use the bloom texture that gener the prism generates as the texture here so at the moment this image this red texture uh, is doing a blur all by itself so if you've got say overlapping images like this uh, then that's quite a lot of fill rate because and quite a lot of kind of GPU resources used because for every one of these quads you'll be performing the blur and obviously with lots of UI elements on the screen it starts to add up so instead of doing that and wasting all of your resources then what you can do is simply check this button use bloom text for UI blur and that way uh, we also just need to change the flip value from 1 to minus 1 uh, just because of the orientations of the textures. That way we can see here that now these textures, they look practically the same. The blur that Prism uses is slightly different. It's more of a Gaussian blur than the one that the uh, shader uses. But we also see the only limitation of Prism's uh, checkbox there is because the texture that these uh, images read from is generated after the main camera finishes rendering it therefore does not pick up anything from the UI yet so this is effectively the texture that get that gets blurred so that's why we can't see the white texture behind these ones and that could be an intended effect sometimes if you want but just know that if you want like your UI elements to blur your other UI elements don't have this ticked and there we go so there we go. I hope to you learn how to use Prism's UI Blur feature. Thanks for watching.